Today we got the most disturbing creatures caught on trail cam. Drop a thumbs up and let's Things check it out. Caught yes. on trail cameras. From weird unidentified creatures to killers and to many other unexplainable phenomena. Oh, so damn. today I decided to highlight some of the most chilling Bigfoot? and downright horrifying creatures caught on trail cameras this year. So damn, that looks like a bit. Grab now. your popcorn and allow your fear to be maximized as we recap the scariest trail camera clips of 2023. Mmm. All right, guys, let's going down. Subscribe the photo that I'm about new. to show was captured in 2020. However, it was just released to the public only a week ago. This is because the family who captured this trail cam photo forgot about it, and the other day they found it again on their computer and decided to submit it to the Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Group for further research. The Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Group are investigative journalists and Bigfoot enthusiasts that document their findings on Damn. their YouTube channel. They received the photo submission from the family and they decided to make a video about it. I am now going to read the submission and show the footage of the area that the family sent. Then I will show you the photo they captured. One if you believe in Bigfoot, two if you don't. Let me know where you at with that. On their trail camera. The family oh, says, geez. Dear RMS, we used to live in Pierce County, Washington, but due to work commitments, we moved to New York. Our house in Pierce had a good sized piece of land in the back, and we used to set up trail cameras for our three kids to capture the wildlife and the birds that visited. One day in August of 2020, we checked the camera and stumbled upon this strange photo. It was a oh, shit. Oh, shit. So that was not long ago. So 2020. Uh, damn, three years ago, that was the start of the Roni situation. It's been three years, right? Crazy how fast time flies. The humanoid shaped figure that was captured by one of our trail cams. We're not sure what to make of it, but it looks like a long-haired, hairy figure. Do you think it could be a Yeti or a Bigfoot? We thought we'd share it with you guys and see what you thought. If you find out any more information and do decide to share it online, please keep our surname private. It looks like a old man that has never, that hasn't showered in 10 plus years. Bruh. That's what it looks like. <laughs> no, honestly, bro. We are not Seriously? looking for any attention. But if you guys have any thoughts, please let us Damn, know. That's Thanks a hairy, in kind regard. That's one hairy motherfucker out there, let me tell you that, bro. So the first thing that hairy RMS ass. does when they receive a photo or video of Bigfoot that appears to be new and unique is they create a video or article about it. And many researchers and scientists then reach out to them and tell them whether they think it's real or not. Many of researchers course. have said that this appears to be a new and authentic photo of a Sasquatch. So is it possible that this is a real Sasquatch? Let me know in the comments mm. down below. Let's be real, it could be it could be an old ass man that hasn't showered in like 10, 15, 20 years. Uh, and that's why he has like all that hair junk on him. Bruh. Yeah, a man you know, named I mean, Scott Carpenter, a systems administrator for Merrillville, Tennessee, captured this very unexplainable footage on his trail camera. He has a feeding station deep in the woods. This is where researchers leave food in front of a trail camera to see what kind of wildlife would come by and eat it. Scott had always oh, believed in Bigfoot and hoped that one day he would capture something out of the ordinary. And on this day, his wishes came true. This day, as he was oh, leaving dang. the station and walking back through the woods, he attached the camera to the back of himself facing backwards so he could see if any unknown creatures snuck up behind him. He would later review the footage Smart. when he got home and what he found was shocking. Ow! Man, yo, how many of you actually believe? Oh, damn, son, this is, it's right here. Right up here. While reviewing the footage, Scott noticed a dark figure moving around in the bushes in the background, almost as if it was watching him. Upon closer inspection, he came to the conclusion that this was not a Sasquatch, but something he had never seen before. He thought that it was a Dogman. Nonetheless, dog Bigfoot man? or Dogman, this looks absolutely terrible. Yeah, what, what the hell is a Dogman, bruh? What, what's a Dogman? Anybody knows? Uh, is it a Chihuahua man? Is there a Chihuahua man out there somewhere? <laughs> Fine. Despite the skepticism of critics, Scott was convinced that this was a living being. He said he could see its nostrils opening and closing with each breath. Oh, the God sudden damn. realization that he was right there just feet away from this unknown creature was enough to stop him from going in the woods for a while. Even though Scott- If he was standing like in a different direction, I'm pretty sure he could have seen something else opening up too, and I mean like- I was a researcher and he loves cryptids, he was scared for his safety. He was worried that this beast had known that he had caught it on camera. It took him several weeks to recover from the shock, and while many people don't believe him, he is very adamant about what he saw. 
So much so that he carries a gun at all times now, and especially when he goes into the woods. Yeah. This was Scott's Smart. first encounter with a cryptid, and it opened his eyes to the Smart. reality of the dangers that come with researching the unknown. So always be careful, because sometimes if you go searching, you might run into something you don't like. Mmm. Always carry a gun, guys. Always. I mean, a in Canada... A 15-year-old mountain biker would have this... If you're in Canada, carry, carry a dollar, Dollarama gun. Bruh. It can be useful, guys. Scare of a lifetime while riding his bike on a trail in the woods. This boy loved riding his bike in the woods and rode on this particular trail frequently. The boy then rides down the hill and everything seems normal. Then he could be heard calling out to someone nervously. Suddenly, oh, he emerged on the scene again while looking back over and over. Yeah, almost as though he was being followed or something. Hey. Oh, then what? a large black bear appears right beside his camera. It begins walking right towards him as if it were going to attack him. Luckily, the boy thinks fast and raises his bicycle up into the air to appear bigger to the black bear. And he oh, also damn. started yelling out as loud as he could. This was enough to scare off the black bear. <laughs> the bear turns around and quickly runs away. However, he makes a stop at the boy's camera and begins sniffing it and trying to pick it up. Okay, you, you know what? That's useful information. Like, if you, it, hopefully not. I hope that doesn't happen to anyone. But if you find yourself in a situation like that, honestly, bro, like, it's good to know. Like, scream as loud as you can, okay? It might not work, but I mean, in last resort, you should run, I guess, or hide or something. But as a last resort, try to appear big and scream, damn. Okay, useful. That's useful, guys. That's useful information. Hey! But carry a dollar store weapon too if you can. But then he eventually runs away into the woods, never to be seen again. This is one of the many reasons why you should always be extra careful when you're in the woods, especially when you're all alone. Mm, guys, let me know what time you're watching this. This horrifying footage was captured by a man in Australia. He was driving late one night on an abandoned forest road when he suddenly saw something run across the road in front of his car. Australia is known for their wild animals, such as kangaroos and more. So the man yeah. just thought it was a wild animal crossing the road, so he stopped his car and began recording. They but have those like T-Rex kind of hands too, like... What his camera Bruh. actually filmed sent chills down his spine. What? Aliens? As yeah, you can see, a strange humanoid figure with pale skin is seen running on all fours across the road. The, the figure is lit that? up by the headlights of the man's car. What the actual... It runs and then... What the hell is that? Okay, let's let's be real. The the thing here is that the light is hitting his skin, so he might not be completely white, uh, white skin like that, right? It's nighttime, the light is hitting it. The colors uh, get less saturated at night, understandably. Mm, it, let's be real. Uh, it can be a kangaroo or something similar, but it appears uh, as it is something completely different. Thoughts, guys? What, what, where are you leaning? You think it's an alien? The Martians, sorry. <laughs> the Mar you think it's the aliens or you think it was just uh, a Chihuahua, maybe, perhaps? A bigger Chihuahua? Or maybe a Pomeranian? Don't Pomeranians ever run around like that in Australia? Disappears into the darkness on the other side of the road. Even after posting the video to social media, nobody has been able to identify this creature. The Might most be believed theory you. is that it is a skinwalker. A skinwalker Damn. is a shape-shifting demon that is able to take the form of various animals. This footage captures exactly what a skinwalker is believed to look like. Holy! Yo, skinwalker? God damn! God so what damn. do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Yeah, caught on trail cam. That's the thing, guys. We're this not talking. This is some pretty creepy footage. The owner of this property has lived there for over 15 years. And he said throughout all of those years that he had never seen anything like this before. The homeowner's name is Robin Searcy. He says he only opens his gate when he needs to, closing it right back up to keep his dogs from running off. However, one morning, he says, an unexpected overnight visitor opened it and left it open. He woke up the next morning to see notifications on his phone that there was movement behind his house around 2 a.m. He checked his camera and this is what he caught. Man. The photo shows a young girl in a white gown coming on his... Bro, why is it always has to be... Whenever we're talking about ghosts, right? Uh, I was gonna say, like, these trail cam footage most probably are real because... 
trail cam, you know what I mean? Oh shit! Oh, yeah, shit. yeah, guys, yeah, it's crazy, right? Well, we obviously, if you're new here, we do ghost videos, uh, UFO videos, and other stuff, uh, mystery, thriller, paranormal content. But trail cam is like a genre of its own, and understandably, because you have direct footage, and the, the, the fact that you got a lady, why is it always has to be, either it's like black robe, uh, you see, or white robe with black hair, like long ass hair, right? Uh, why is it always like that, man? Why? His property. He had no idea how she had got there and why she was even there in the first place. He thought his eyes might be playing tricks on him, but the next morning he also checked his gate and it was wide open. He zoomed Damn. in and looked at the footage for a while, trying to see if he could recognize the girl, but he never did. He took mm. his footage and showed his neighbors to see if maybe they could recognize the girl, but none of his neighbors recognized her at all. His neighbor that lived to the right of him also had a security camera facing the same direction. However, her camera did not catch the girl at all. Could this have been a ghost that only showed up on Robin's camera? Robin wow. reached out to the local news station and they did a story on it. This was definitely a very strange and unexplainable encounter. Damn, okay, so that's trail cam. Uh, thoughts on that one real quick? Real fake, you're not buying it, or you're like, it's a shivava, man, it's a shivava. Let, let me know. A hunter on the last day of hunting in Pennsylvania came across a very strange sight. He was walking through the woods when he found a young buck who appeared to be frozen in time. The buck stood there completely still and didn't move a muscle no matter how close the hunter got. The Damn. buck stands as still as a statue. It's unknown why the deer was behaving this way. Maybe it's a defense mechanism or maybe it's possessed. Your guess is as good as mine. I think he's seen some real... Oh shit! Oh, shit. Yeah, I think he's seen something, man. He probably must have seen something. That's why he was acting that way because normally you do not act like that. You do not act like that, you know what I'm saying? The hunter even begins poking at it with one of his arrows and it still does not even move a muscle. Eventually the man knocks on the buck's antlers and that is when it breaks <laughs> free from the trance and it quickly sprints away. Man, if glitch anyone in the matrix. has any theories or glitch in the matrix but thankfully he unfroze home uh, he unstuck the homie let's be real. If anyone moves. knows why this deer was acting this way let us know in the comments. Good moves, man, because it's kind of sad that he was The location like that of this footage is unknown. However, it takes place very deep in the woods late one night. If you look closely at the footage, you can see an absolutely massive beast emerging and walking right past the trail camera. As the beast slowly sulks by, that is when you can realize how unbelievably huge it really is. Holy. It appears to be over 10 feet tall. Bruh! Many people were quick to point out that they think it's Bigfoot. Others don't really know what to make of the footage or- It really feels like a man walking, like you see the arms kind of moving, you got the head. What if it's like a really... because there is, uh, if you really think about it, right? There are a lot of places on Earth that have tribal people. There's one island, uh, a, a sentinel island, I believe it's near uh, India as well. So there are people living there that they are completely unknown of the technology we have right to them if the planes was overhead they would probably think it's the aliens right it's the ufos that i don't even think they would have that concept or maybe they do i don't know but point is that there's a lot of tribal people out there that that do not know we exist and we do not know they exist right so it's one of those things and there's likely a lot of uh, areas on the planet that are completely unexplored so it's kind of wild the stuff that gets captured on trail cam like this and it is quite bizarre it's mystery it's uh it gets you thinking it's fascinating too and that footage i mean that was a tall ass man bigfoot i don't know i think it's a man man or maybe the camera was uh, put in a way where it just makes us believe that it's a tall man but it's not necessarily a tall man you're good at, your guess is as good as mine they simply just think it's staged However, one thing is clear. The beast in this footage is definitely not human because no human no is human? even close to that tall. No one True, has been able but... to figure out what this creature but what if, is. But uh, what if it's really a man that has been left undiscovered? You never know, right? I don't know. So let me know in the comments what you think. But very, the odds are very slim, I do, I do realize. Or have close you to ever none. heard of the legend of the skunk ape? The skunk ape, also known as the swamp ape or the Florida Bigfoot, is an ape-like creature said to inhabit some forests and swamps in the southern United States, notably in Florida. This footage was captured long ago, but it has not been seen by many. 
The footage takes place nearly two decades back in the Everglades in Florida. As you can see, a giant ape-like creature is seen roaming around in an open field. This area is said to be home to many elusive and mysterious skunk apes. The supposed skunk ape in this footage was estimated at about 8 feet tall and 450 pounds. Some people nowadays still claim to see the creature late at night in the same area. Maybe it was just some sort of primate, however Florida is not home to any primates or monkeys. It is still unknown and it looks like it will always be unknown what this creature truly was. Damn. Okay. It feeds this footage was taken in the UK. This footage is not necessarily scary, however it's more interesting than anything. One day a man looked out in his backyard and saw something very strange. Check it out. Man, yeah, why you got a tail Seen up like is a two-legged fox. This fox is surprisingly agile for having only two legs. It's actually able to move around very well. It's assumed that the fox had been missing its two back legs since it was born, due to how well it can move around without them. The homeowner yeah. has since installed cameras watching his backyard in hopes that the fox comes back again, and he can document more footage. If more footage of this fox is captured, I will let you all know. Yeah, that's sad for the fox, honestly, too. Instead this trail cam photo, captured on October 14th, 2022 in Louisiana, has been going viral, and people have many questions about it. In the picture, you can see what looks like a big mound of hair, seemingly floating in the air. Many people think that this trail camera captured a Sasquatch running or jumping or doing some sort of strange movement. Others are completely puzzled, as they cannot make out what this picture depicts. Other people have- What if it's a chimpanzee, Bruh. right? Yeah, chimpanzee, maybe. I don't know, maybe a big ass dog or something. Big ass dog? <coughs> Thoughts on that one, guys? I've also said that they think it could be a bear, or that the photo could just simply be photoshopped. Some online viewers yeah. also had some funny things. That, that's a possibility, too. Like, let's be real. Yeah. In this day and age, deep fakes ex exist. You do not even know what's real anymore. But let's see what the experts think, right? He talks about the, the commenters. Let's see what the experts think. What, let's see what you think as well in the comments. To say about this photo. One said that it could be a new species called a tumble pig. Someone else said that they're pretty sure it's their mother-in-law. So Bruh. it looks like we solved the case. It was probably Bruh. just that guy's mother-in-law. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> agreed, agreed. A man was be. out hunting near Gladwater, Texas in 2020 when he heard the sounds of a distressed animal somewhere nearby in the woods. As he followed the squealing sounds, he was led to an abandoned oil pit from the 1930s. Inside of it laid a deceased and badly decomposing hog and a younger hog that was stuck but still alive. The hunter then does everything he can to try to free the pig from the oil. First, he begins trying to pull it out with a rope. The hunter even grabbed an old tire Man. to stand on so he didn't fall into the pit himself. Man. What if it's... Yeah, I think it probably is sticky. The pig is clearly exhausted and on the brink of death and drowning in the thick oil, so the man has to act fast. The rope technique doesn't work, so he finds a large stick and tries to lift the pig out of the oil using the stick. The hunter can be heard encouraging the hog, come on buddy, help me out here. 30 minutes have passed, and the man is still trying desperately to free the animal. Ooh, Much man. more time goes by and- Okay, I thought th this was the one, I was looking completely wrong, but it's hair, okay. Or maybe there were there are two, and no, probably one only. Till the man pushes the hog up far enough so that he is able to grab it with his bare hands. Oh, he pretty man. much gets into the oil and lifts the hog up out of the oil and saves the day. The hog runs away freely. Oh damn, man. The hero hunter from Texas said, I decided that I have harvested many a hog, and since I have the chance to save one, I should. The rescue took me 40 minutes and was considerably dangerous because I was sinking along with the hog. I eventually freed the animal to both of our reliefs. However, I will say the rescue cost me my entire hunting season because it ruined my hunting clothes and gear. And unfortunately, I don't have enough money to replace my clothes or gear. Oh, but if man. given the chance to do it again, I would. Yeah. Yeah, GG's guys. That's the guys. spirit of a true outdoorsman. W's, W's in chat for the man, W's. 
Hundred percent. The footage that I'm about to show was captured by an outdoor enthusiast as they enjoyed a hike through the Appalachian Mountains. Oh, However, man. after what they saw during this hike, might make them never want to hike again. Of course. This unsettling video shows an unidentified creature watching the hiker from behind a log. Whatever this is does definitely not want to be seen as it attempts to hide behind the fallen tree. Yo, when it puts his head down and when you just see the top of the head, it feels like a little kid, right? But then when it lifts up, you see those big ass eyes, it feels like completely, something completely different. The animal's eyes appear to be black, a characteristic that is frequently associated with cryptids and other strange beings. The animal oh, almost shit. looks like a seal, but obviously they do not live in forests. The person who took this video and everyone else cannot figure out what this creature is. Whatever it is, it's apparent there are some very strange things lurking in the woods of the Appalachian Mountains. Mm. Thoughts, guys? Shibaba, you thinking? You say Pomeranian? You think it's a Pomeranian? Guys, come on. Bruh. Come on, man. Not everything is a Pomeranian, guys. Come on. Late at night in 2006, two men began to hear very strange noises coming from the woods near their house. So they ultimately decided to go explore and try to figure out what these noises were and where they were coming from. After a while of walking into the deep dark depths of the woods, they began to come across more and more dead birds scattered across the ground. One of the men decided to get out their camera to begin filming what they were finding. Eventually the man holding the camera hears something in the tree line near him. So he pans his camera up and zooms in, and what he catches next is absolutely horrifying. Oh, damn. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, the, the fact that there are dead birds around, that's not a good sign. Especially a lot of them in one place, uh, on, on the ground like that. Not a good sign. But 2006, those were simple times. But maybe not simple enough for this bobaco, because it's about to go down. <laughs> I think it's gonna jump out. <laughs> One in the morning. Damn, I don't even know what's happening. It's so dark. Oh snap! Run! Now there's really no way to tell if this footage is 100% real, however even if it is just a hoax, it is still horrifying. However the creature in the footage could not have possibly been a huge just- Now there's really no- The- Dan, the fact that it moves his head like that, and the eyes gets bigger? Damn. way to tell if this footage is 100% real however even if it is just a hoax it is still horrifying yeah however the creature in the footage could not have possibly been a human because it's a proven fact that human eyes do not reflect light so let yeah. me know what you yeah. guys think true. in the comments do you true. think it's real or do you think it's fake true 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 a man named timothy treadwell was born on april 29th 1957 a lover of animals since he was a child, Treadwell decided to travel to Alaska to watch bears after a close friend convinced him. My guy is an actual represent representation of a Giga child. Look at those glasses, bro. Bruh. Look at those. Those are kind of like Neo glasses. Also feels like, nah, not even Neo, what am I saying? Feels like those swimming glasses that I used to put when I was like 12 years old. <laughs> you know, so I've got those swimming glasses, bro. him to do so. He wrote that after his first encounter with a wild bear, he knew that he had found his calling in life. Mm. He then became a very famous bear enthusiast, environmentalist, documentary filmmaker, and founder of the bear protection organization Grizzly People. Timothy Treadwell is better known as his nickname, the Grizzly Man. He the was the man who lived among grizzly bears in Katmai National Park, Alaska for 13 summers. Treadwell was known for getting extremely close to the bears while he observed, sometimes even touching them and playing with their cubs. In his book though, he claimed that he was always very careful with the bears and actually developed a sense of mutual trust and respect with the animals. On October 3rd, he went out to- I heard, I heard a similar story not long ago, but that guy actually developed uh, a mutual understanding with the sharks and 
the reason and he went through a trauma basically there was a guy uh that actually went in the ocean and one day he just he used to always go but one day it just happens to be that the shark came attacked him he didn't even know when how it happened he started swimming and then he realized he was missing his leg because oh, oh, the, the shark bought him and took, uh, just ate the leg or took it, you know what I mean? And you would think that he would do the complete opposite, but he apparently goes even, once he recovered, he just started, uh, you know, saving sharks because apparently sharks' uh, population count is going down. So a lot of people are afraid of sharks, understandably, right? Uh, understandably so. But not him. He's uh, defending them even after losing his leg, which is kind of crazy. So, yeah, it happens. It, it really happens. To do more of his bear research at the place that he liked to call the Grizzly Sanctuary in Katmai National Park. He had also brought his wife along for the trip. He had hired an air taxi pilot named Willie Fulton to come pick him up on October 6th after he was done with his research. However, when the pilot arrived at the campsite, he found it completely abandoned, except for one huge Kodiak bear lurking around the site. It was at this moment that he decided to contact the park rangers. The park rangers came and investigated the campsite, and this is where they found man don't tell me because i'm i'm actually expecting the worst and this is bad because i'm let me know if you felt the same way if you because i'm feeling like that the bear kind of ate him oh shit, oh shit and he basically died like uh, yeah that's uh, i'm expecting the damn why humans why we think the worst i'm pretty sure you were thinking the same if you were thinking the same let me know or maybe Timothy not. Treadwell's along with his wife's mangled remains. A 28 year old oh, male shit. Kodiak bear named the machine was responsible for the two deaths, which was the same bear Called that the it. pilot had saw at the campsite. So the video clip that I have for you guys today is one of the last videos that the grizzly man would ever take. The bear shown man that is sad that truly is sad. So he's like he brought he was like he brought his wife and like yeah kids okay, gonna be fun you know. Damn, man, that is truly sad. You you never know. You don't want to be... It's un, I mean, respect for the animals, for sure. That's one thing. But if you know, like, the nature, then don't, like... <laughs> don't go that crazy. Don't go... Don't be near all the time, you know? Like, but in this video is not the same bear that ate him. And apparently the actual yeah. audio of the fatal attack is out there somewhere on the internet. However, I'm not going to show it today in this video because it is too graphic. So here are some of the final moments of the grizzly man before he was fatally attacked and eaten by a bear. Man. Hi, Cracker. The bear I mean, right so next to me is Cracker. She's enjoying... Some, I mean, not every bear is good, guys. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there are good apples, there are bad apples. There are also good bears, there are bad bears. And uh, he got damn it. I'm a fish right now. I love you, Cracker. I do love you. She's my friend. She's a good friend. It's the 112th day of the Grizzly Diary. It's almost October. Oh, I'm really worn out. Are you worn out? Is it time to den? It's time for me to go home, probably, too. I love you. That's my friend. Man. Last moment, but guys, click on this video on the screen. This is apps. <laughs> this apparently just happened. Check this video out, guys. I don't want you seeing that, and I'll see you right there.